So Ted, uh, welcome back uh, everyone to this second part, part two of this uh, video series with Ted Thomas, the tax authority guy, the guy go to for tax lien certificates and he's been teaching for three decades. Yes, you had it right, more than 30 years. So Ted, I'll write, get, I have again written down questions and in fact, after the first video, we got some questions that are uh, from our students here. Ted, uh, can you please review for our students what a tax lien certificate is, please? Okay, folks, this is an investment business, an alternative investment, but they use real estate as a security. So here's what happens in all the counties in the United States. Now, we call it a county. You guys in the provinces, you call that, you call it a municipality. But all right, they tax the property. So every property is taxed, but a certain amount of people don't pay their tax, okay? Now, in a place like Tampa, Florida, when the people don't pay their tax, they're going to have a tax lien certificate auction. What they're going to do, they're going to auction a certificate like this. Anybody can buy it. All you're doing is paying someone else's taxes. Now, this is a newspaper from Tampa, Florida, okay? It's got about 50 pages, okay? And this is a, a list of tax lien certificates. There's thousands of them. This list has got 30,000 certificates in it. That's just Tampa, just Tampa. The state of Florida, they'll have... 1 million certificates every single year. So it doesn't matter. All right, so half of the states in the United States, they put out a newspaper like this and they sell these certificates. Anybody can buy them. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Okay, thousands and thousands of certificates. Anybody can buy them. All right, now a tax certificate can pay you 16%, 18%, 24%, all the way up to 24%. Now that's really a powerful rate of return. And the check comes from the government. So what a lot of people want to do is they want to buy this so they invest the money with the government, all right? Then when the people come in and pay their tax, you have to give them their certificate back, but then you get that 16, 18, or 24%, and you get the interest, on, you get your money back and the interest. All right, now that happens every year in the United States. Now it happens in Canada too. However, in Canada, they only pay two or 3%. So why do you wanna make two or 3% when you can make 24%? All right, so tax lien certificates, is a predictable, certain, secure business. And that's the baseline on it. Now, half of the states sell tax lien certificates, which is predictable, it's certain, and secure. The other half of the states, they sell you the property. All right, so the government said, you didn't pay your tax, they confiscate, they take the property away, then they sell it to us, and we can buy a tax deed on that property. Tax deed means we get the property. Now listen what happens. The government doesn't want the property. They took it back because the person didn't pay tax. Now we can buy those properties 60%, 70%, 80% discount. They start the auction at the back taxes. So it doesn't matter. So if you go to New York, when you go to New York, you're buying tax deeds. If you come to Florida, you can buy tax lien certificates. You go to Texas, you can buy tax deeds. Now, how do you go? You sit on your rusty dusty, just where you are watching me. Stay on your rusty dust. You just sit there and we'll teach you how to do it online. We have a teacher every single day. And we teach it every single day how to do it. So that's what a tax lien is. So Ted, I understand tax lien certificates. Most clients have never heard of tax lien certificates. Are they available in every state? They're available in all 3,000 plus counties. Every single county in the, in the United States tries to collect taxes. Just like the municipal... The municipality in Toronto will try to collect the taxes. If they can't collect tax, what they'll do, they'll, they'll either confiscate it or they'll issue a tax lien. So half of the states, they issue tax liens. All of the states issue tax deeds. So you can buy either one. So if you want, if you want safe, secure, no work investment, you want to buy tax lien certificates. You, you don't want to get off your rusty dusty. You just buy those. When the government collects the money, they send you back all your money plus the high rate of return. I can, I have people that bid on hundreds of certificates every year. They bid two, three hundred thousand, and they're making anywhere from ten percent all the way to twenty percent on their money. And the check comes from the government; it doesn't come from me. It comes from the government. Great. Okay, thank you for that, Ted. Ted, uh, sure. most of our students, our clients, are in Canada here. So my question to you is. Can Canadians sitting on their rusty rusty in Canada buy in the United States? Right. Now, when I started 30 years ago, everybody had to go physically to the auction. You had to walk into the auction room 
and then they would have a big auction. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you an example. So let's say that. So the answer to the question, to give you a quick answer, the answer is your clients that are in Canada can buy everything online. All right. So if I were to send you to Los Angeles to buy, this is the list for Los Angeles. This is the list to sell the to sell the auction properties. Okay. You don't even have to go there. You can just go online to a company called Bid for Assets and the whole list will come up. And then you can bid on that list. You, I just teach you how to do it. You never have to give me a dime. Okay, I just teach people how to do it. And so every single auction is different, but all of the auctions are now online. When I started 30 years ago, you had to go to all those auctions. So if you went to a live auction in Los Angeles, there'd be 3,000 people in the room. 3,000. They come in buses. It's unbelievable. Yes. So, Ted, what should I buy? Should I buy tax lien certificates or tax defaulted properties? Okay. Now, if you want to start and never have a, uh, uh, any risk, what you would do is you would buy a tax lien certificate. Because when you buy the certificate, you, you buy the certificate, you give your money to the government. So now it's protected by the government. When that property owner comes in and pays their taxes, and most of them will pay their taxes, when you come in to pay their taxes, you'll get all your money back plus the high interest rate. So that's pretty safe investment. Now, if they don't come in and pay, you're going to get the property. So that's a pretty, pretty, but I like to buy, and I teach, we teach both. I teach people, Buy a tax defaulted property. Now, a tax defaulted property, remember, one, you're getting interest on a piece of paper. The other one, you're getting a property. Now, I'll ask you this question. So, you, Mr. or Mrs. Investor, sitting on your rusty dusty, would you like to get a property in the States for a 60%, 70%, or 80% discount? Well, I'm going to tell you when the government sells these properties, and there's thousands of them, I'm just using Los Angeles, the, every property in this book, is going to be sold for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar. 10 to 20 cents with no mortgage and no deed of trust loan. Nice. Wow. So, Ted, which brings me to my next question. Should I buy big or small ones? I tell people, I'm a conservative guy. Uh, you probably look at my shirt and say, that guy's not very conservative, but I really am. Um, I, liked, I like to get my money and I like to hold on to it. Now, I, that doesn't mean I don't like to spend it, but I don't want to lose any money. So I actually got in this business. I used to be a real estate syndicator and I owned 4,000 apartment units and the market went up, up, up like this. And I was rich, rich, rich. And then they had all this inflation and the market crashed. And the next thing you know, I was broke. Well, I said, I'm not doing that again. So I learned about tax liens and deeds 30 years ago. Nobody did it then. Now, I'm the authority for the United States. I'm not bragging when I say that. But if you check around, right. you'll find out I'm the authority for this. You can go online and you'll find Ted's the authority for this. But I say, start small and build yourself up. Why? Because once you know how to do this, you can do it for the rest of your life. There's always going to be tax defaults. There's going to be 5,000 auctions this year. 5,000 auctions. Wow. What if, I te if I teach you to do that, you can do this from here. You can sit in your... In, the, in your kitchen table, on, online, you know about all the auctions. We can teach you all that step by step. And we do. That's what we do. That's what our business is. Amazing. Yeah, it so is. Ted, it is um, next question I have for you is, which is better? To go to Miami, a big city and county, or a small town and county in Arizona? Ah, uh, well, I'm going to tell you... Um, you don't even have to go that far. If you're in Toronto, you could just go across the border practically. But um, everybody's going to go to Miami because they love Miami and they're going to go on the beach and do all that. So I could, you know, so. But Florida is a state, uh, has is a, a rural state, but there's 20 million people here, but it's still pr pretty rural. But the big cities, there's going to be a lot of competition, a lot. So you go to the auction in, 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 in Miami, there'll be 200 people there with money. I mean, money, real money, right? But you go to a you go to have a supai in, in Arizona or go down to 
Pinal County was right south of Phoenix. Go to Pinal County, no problem. 50 people, that's all. Small amount of people in the room. So I would say start in the small auctions, kind of look at it and, and practice that way. But when you're online, you don't care. So if you do it online, but if you go, I like to go to the auction myself. So I do both. What I do is I found out about an online auction, then I fly to wherever it is. I look at all the properties and drive around and look at them, take the pictures of them. I put the pictures on a big iPad. I put it on my desk. And then I go to the online auction. So there's the auction online, except I've already been there and I walked on every one of those properties. You've seen yourself physically. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Great. I like to so, touch them. Uh, I, I want to touch, touch and feel. <laughs> Ted, uh, what is the maximum number of tax lien certificates that are available? The maximum. Oh, number. my goodness. Um, it's too big for me to count. And I don't mean that as a joke. But just in the state of Florida, they will have one million certificates available. Just between Miami, Orlando, Jacksonville, and whatever. I'm going to show you something. Let me show you something. Miami and, and some of these places, Miami will have, I've seen 60,000 tax certificates just in Atlanta. Now, this is, a, this, is a, this is a newspaper from a little local town here called Fort Lauderdale. Okay? Fort Lauderdale. No, this is Palm Beach. And look at how big the newspaper is. This newspaper is, is 100 pages, 100 pages, and it's column after column after column of tax lien certificates. I mean, there's, 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 there's 30,000 tax certificates here. That's just one county. Okay, thank you. So, Ted, uh, I heard you say that the minimum payment in Georgia was 25, 20%. Is that true, Ted? Minimum yes. 20%? Yeah, Georgia is what we call a redeemable tax deed state. Now, Texas is the same thing. Now, both of those states are going to be your favorite as soon as I finish here. As soon as I say this, you're going to say, oh, I don't believe this. In Georgia, it's divided up into a lot of little counties. There'll be a picture go up when I'm talking about this. And all these little counties. So there are 169 counties. Every county can have an auction every month. So when they sell, so the auctioneer sells the property. When they sell the property, highest bidder gets the property. So you usually have to pay 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar. All right, now, but the property owner can come back and say, I want to redeem. I want my property back. So anytime in the first year, the property owner can come to you and say, okay, Renee, I want my property back. I'm going to give you back all your money. You get all your money back plus 20% is the minimum. Now, if he waits until the second year, he has to give you back all your money plus 30%. If he waits one more year, you have to give it back all your money plus 40%. If he waits one more year, you have to give it back all your money plus 50%. Unbelievable. All right, Ted, this brings us to the last question. Why would anyone buy tax lien certificates when they could easily buy tax deeds? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to use as an example a woman that lives over in Kelowna, British Columbia. Now, Kelowna's, if you don't know, and you know how pretty British Columbia is, but Kelowna's a ski resort in the winter. And in the summer, it's a place people go hiking on the lakes. So it's yeah. kind of the banana republic of Canada. It's really a nice resort, nice place. To, kind of like St. Jovi over in Montreal. Really nice, nice, whole town like that. So she came to me, she wanted to learn how to do it. I taught her how to do it online. She bought within 65 miles of my house, she bought in a resort trailer park. Resort was really mm. nice. It had beautiful lawns and water. And they had these mobile home park. She bought in a beautiful mobile home park. And she sp spent $25,000 and got this place. It was worth about 70, no, it was worth about 65,000. And she got a deal on it and she rented it. And she rented it out nice. and, sh and she got, 800 bucks a month. So she bought this unit for like $10,000. It was worth about 25,000. She spent $10,000. This is amazing. So anyway, she was making a huge rental re return. Someone came along and made her an offer. Her offer was 75,000. 
So she's going to make $50,000 profit. So she's going to get all that profit. All right. So that was buying a tax deed. You see a massive profit in tax deed. Whereas if you bought a tax lien in that same period of time, she's going to make in Florida 18%. So she get 18% the first year, 18% the second year. So you decide, do you want to make big dollars or do you want to make interest? When you make the interest, yes. it's safe and secure. And you don't have to worry. You get the idea? Yes, got it. Thank Watch you. Watch this video. Watch this video. This is delightful. My name's Deb Murphy, and we're up here in Kelowna, British Columbia. We just purchased this first property in January of this year. So it is in Florida, and there's the front of the property. We got it at a super price. It was like, it was, I knew the price is what they were going for. Uh, so the area was selling very well, and we got it for less than half. We got it, I'd say, about 35 cents on the dollar, which is awesome for Florida. So we, so we bought it for 24 six, and then what you get in the mail is you actually get the tax deed itself straight from the county, and I'll sell it quickly for 50,000. That, that'd be a quick sale. I could possibly even get 55, 60. I chose this particular property um, because the lot itself that's situated in the park has a, a waterway and it's an extra double lot. These are um, manufactured homes. It's an area where people come to holiday, so they own their real houses somewhere in the States or in Canada. Lots of Canadians go down into Florida. So these manufactured homes, they're very nice and they're perfect for, for vacation homes. I love Ted for the fact that he um, is, he's book smart and he's street smart. And he's not afraid to say, like I'd said, if, before you buy a property, you have to know what your exit strategy is. And you have to know that it's workable, um, not just a fairy tale. Can you really sell it? Uh, and can you really rent it? Um, so he's very strong on making you tell yourself the truth. That's worth its weight in gold. Well, folks, I ran out of time. If you're interested in this, what I do is every two weeks, I do a six hour class. It's a content class, all the foundational material you need to do it. I do it every day, it's virtual. When I do this class, you can sit in your living room. You can have breakfast with us because we start at early in the morning. We start at 11 o'clock and you can have breakfast and lunch with us. You can sit right through until five o'clock. It's a six hour class. I'm an educator. I charge $47 for the class. If you like tax leads and deeds and you're learning a lot here, just imagine what you could learn in six hours. Now in that six hours, I'm gonna show you people that are actually doing it from all over the United States and all of the Canadian provinces. You're gonna learn that. So you can go below me and register for that class now. I'll see you on the next video. Is that okay? Yes, great. Thank you, Ted. Thank you. See you in the next video.